Zenith Education Society, redefining excellence. Good morning, everyone. Myself Gaurav Garad. In this project, we are going to learn about online credit card fraud and also study about its effects and precautions that are to be taken. This project was contributed by Shreyas Karai and Aniket Bhagat and guided by Ms. Pooja Narve Ma'am. Now let's see the next slide. Uh, use of digital media in carrying out fraud. There are three types of digital payment frauds and how we can avoid them. So first is request money fraud. Fraudsters send the request feature on UPI by sending fake payment request with messages like enter your UPI pin to receive money or payment successful receive. So you don't have to pay or enter your UPI pin to receive money. Second one is QR code fraud. Fraudsters send share a QR code over WhatsApp asking for the code to be scanned to receive money in their account. So how we can avoid them? So you do not share your card number, expiry date, PIN, OTP with anyone. And the third one is social media fraud. So fraud fraudsters track complaints in social media and share fake contacts or impersonate bankers or RBI officials response to a post and ask for confidential information which no banker is supposed to ask so how we can avoid them by search helpline numbers on google facebook twitter instead of checking the official website now let's move to the next slide so how credit card fraud happens if an unauthorized person gains access to your information and make it use to purchase some things that is how the credit card fraud happens here are some fraudsters that how they get your information by uh, your lost or stolen credit cards or by skimming your credit card such as as a at a gas station or at a mall hacking your devices like computer or mobile mobile um, or calling about fake prices or wire transfers also sending a fake emails now let's move on to the next slide that is what is mean by vulnerability exploit when an hackers use a number of tools to steal data it is known as vulnerability exploit uh, or uh, another popular tool uh, which is angular exploit exploit kits uh, it installs malicious software to your system which access your personal information to hacker now let's move on to the next point what types of credit card frauds are so there are five key types credit card fraud are first is card not present fraud second is counterfeit and skimming fraud third is lost and stolen card fraud fourth is card never arrived fraud fifth is false application fraud now let's see what is the effects of fraud it affects the economy of our country it also reduces financial growth and waste time of people it losses our revenues it damages company reputation and causes late payments and dues and it leads to high credit utilization now let's move to the next slide um, that is the do police investigate credit card fraud so the state police will investigate stolen credit cards when they have a suspect found during their 
initial investigation the best thing you can do is to report it with all due speed to the credit card company now let's see how we should protect ourselves from credit card fraud keeping the credit card safe we should monitor the credit card transactions online never make credit card information in public we should make password strong of a credit card um, immediate reporting of lost or stolen card Zenith Education Society Redefining Excellence